Okay, it is 1835, October 11th, 2018, Thursday, and, um, these women being tortured right now, there are three, dude, and they are fucking, they are broadcasting this shit over a loudspeaker now, remotely, from down on 15th.
Okay, so, um, yeah, that got recorded, um, they were saying, making them say some pretty obscene stuff, and, um, these women, there are three of them, <clears throat> maybe four, um, that was them conducting some of it, the other part was AI, but these women are being imprisoned in their homes, being threatened daily, being targeted with directed energy and put through some pretty really fucking severe no-touch torture. And um, this has been going on for a very long time, since 2014. They've been there since it, since then. They've been kept in their homes. But they are being forced to say these things. They're being forced to say it. Every day, every waking moment, they are forced to participate in Voice to Skull. And forced to repeat things that these PMCs tell them to do. And these are basically mercenaries that they hire, they contract. Um, they are uh, the ones that are forcing them to do this. They are Iraq, Afghanistan vets, mostly with the U.S. Army. Um, U.S. Army Psychological Warfare de um, Department. <laughs> And they are the ones running the software and stuff like this. They did it in the Middle East. And they are being forced to conduct this now here. These women, they're being tortured with directed energy. They are chosen because they're basically being kept as hostages as well. They are. And they're threatening them. They're under severe duress. Oftentimes they are hit with directed energy. So bad they are screaming and yelling. And they will repeat the stuff. They will repeat the stuff yelling at that they tell them to say. Simply to stop the fucking torture that they're being, that they're being subject to. This needs to stop. And guess what? Yeah, they're using them as leverage. That's what they're doing. That's the only reason they would select three women and force them in there if they're being held against their will. Because this is sick, man. These people that have ordered this in the intelligence community, they are they're cornered right now they've taken them taken them as hostages that's part of a black op and um they're hitting them right now dude I can hear it. Now they're switched to voice to skull. Now it's only I can hear it um, around me. Other people can hear it, but um, not around me. Okay, so so about this, these guys aren't all. They aren't all with one. PMC, their ex-operatives, whether they work for them or not, they specifically chose them. They chose them, and they basically ordered them. They gave them no choice. They gave them no choice. They have to participate. They're being threatened to the operatives. They are faced they are faced with a black with black ops with a black ops hit themselves 
if they say anything about it or if they don't obey their orders. That's how it is. That's how it is. I will not be silent about it. I will not. Something needs to be done. Very soon. For these women. It does. Something needs to be done very soon to protect my mom. Because they're ordering her to behave certain ways around me. They're threatening. They're threatening her. She is afraid to speak up, to even acknowledge anything about it. Out of fear for her safety, her life. And many people are. Most everybody around me. Will not acknowledge that anything's going on out of the ordinary. This is huge, dude. Um, yeah, a lot of the AI handles a lot of the psyops they're running on me. Including voice to skull. But this needs to stop.